hi guys welcome back to the channel and if you are new here welcome my name is rashida and i tend to make mom content cleaning content things like that so in today's video we are just going to be cleaning up around the apartment um i'm starting with my bed i always have to start with my bed and i got a new sheet set and a comforter set off of kohl's and that's what i'm doing now i'm just changing out my sheets and yeah and i also got a new comforter set and it's so cute i found it through a link in another um young lady's description box is what i'm trying to say and it has like pom-poms on it and stuff as you can tell like it's so cute and i wish the bottom of my um my like footboard or whatever didn't cover the pom-poms because it's so cute Alright, so as you can tell, my room was trash. There was clothes everywhere, there was bras hanging out. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but hey, it's real life and this is as real as it gets. So I'm just going around picking up um, all the extra things around on the floor, getting all the clothes up. Now, I can't be the only one that transfers things from one area to another area. And don't worry, I clean off my bed later on. But I was just like, you know what, I, I just need to vacuum this floor. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on there. I'm just kind of moving things around off the floor so I can get it vacuumed because it really needed it pretty bad. And like I stated in my last video, this vacuum is everything. I love this vacuum. I love how versatile it is. I love that it can literally get anywhere that you want it pretty much and it picks up things by the time i'm done vacuuming that little clear bin that holds like all the dust and stuff the stuff that is in there i'm like flabbergasted sometimes but it is an amazing vacuum and it is definitely worth the money so if you don't have it yet i mean it's amazing it's on sale it may not even be on sale anymore but i love this dyson vacuum and it definitely lives up to the hype all right so we're making our way into the living room and as you see here i start by straightening it up but then i realized that i should probably vacuum under my cushions i haven't done it in a while so that's when i was like let me just go ahead and get it over with so i removed all of the pillows and stuff and then i started vacuuming under it because it definitely needed it and that's what i mean by this vacuum is amazing because you literally just change the head just that easy
Okay, so as you can tell, I definitely needed to get that done and I didn't realize how long it had been since I actually vacuumed under those cushions, but I'm so happy that I got it done because as you saw in the beginning, that little boy was about to grab whatever that was and try to eat it and I'm so glad that I was like, nope, not today, sir. But yeah, so I finally got that done and it felt so good to finally just be like, ooh, my couch is clean. Now guys, this is real life. My kids, they're in the living room while I'm cleaning. My baby's always following me. That little, I mean, that little nugget, he stays following that vacuum. He's like obsessed with that vacuum. And I'm always having to be like, hey guys, like watch your baby brother. But, and then in a few clips, you can definitely see where he follows me. <laughs> Literally, the moment I move, he is at my feet and it's so cute and it's so funny and i just love that so this is real life i mean i want to show you guys my life as a single mom and of course you know cleaning and stuff and they're gonna make cameos so that's exactly what's gonna happen and i love it but yeah as you can see here my tv needed to be cleaned off so bad it was dusty crusty and musty and mama needed to get it clean so here i'm just gonna dust a little bit and then you'll see that i wipe it down and get it all nice and in order So as I'm actually wiping down the TV and things, I caught on camera that he was standing up and I was turned around so quick. I was like, oh my gosh, go you, go Cammy. He's pretty much ready, almost ready to walk. So yeah, I'm so proud of him. He's growing up so quick. He's gonna be 10 months on the 29th and it's crazy. But anywho, so I'm wiping my TV down. I just used a Method glass cleaner in a microfiber cloth. Um, I don't know how most people t like wipe down their TVs. I've tried to look it up. I don't really see any videos and I cannot find the directions. I normally keep the instructions to anything I buy and I couldn't find it. So let me know down below how you guys clean off your TVs. But yeah, I'm just cleaning out all these candles. Y'all, and this ain't even the half of it. I purged so many candles and these are the ones I kept. Um, I only burn these seasonally. So that's why I still have them and some of them look unburned. But yeah, I'm just cleaning up under it where it's like there's extra storage spaces, but yeah. And this bookshelf had a mess, okay? So it was like time, as you can tell, dust was up there and I just needed to get it clean. And this bookshelf holds a lot of my kids' books and then their homeschool stuff because where they're out of school for the rest of the year, I have been um, forced to turn into a teacher just like millions of other moms out there so this is where i hold all their paperwork and as you can tell ever since it started in april their stuff is just kind of stacking 
So in this part of the video, I'm just honestly just taking my time and really organizing some of the things that we use. Now, obviously I don't have this whole setup shebang that most moms have for their homeschool children um, because my kids are not originally homeschooled. They go to public school, but we're making it work. We're making it work. All right, so jumping into the kitchen, I got a new pots and pans set. I got this set through the link that Paige Danielle posted on her Instagram because I needed new pots and pans. So I went ahead and cut all that stuff off because after I get done washing the dishes, I'm gonna go ahead and wash those because they needed to be washed before I used them. But I wanted to um, get all this done before I went ahead and started on those pots and pans. All right, and now I'm actually starting to finally get these pots and pans rinsed and washed based on the instructions that came with them. It just says to wash them with soapy water, so that's what I'm doing to kind of prep them to start cooking with them. Um, I got these, like I was saying earlier, through a link that Paige Danielle listed on her Instagram, and they are of good, you know, they they seem to be really good and that they'll hold up well. I've had Rachel Ray ones literally since I moved into my apartment, so it'll be going on five years, and it was just time for me to toss those, and that's why I got these. Again, I got these on sale because budgeting is A1, and it you know it's important but I needed new pots and pans and I just did not have hundreds of dollars to fork so I paid $114 for this set which it was $300 so I mean I got a pretty good deal on it and I can try to find them and link them down below I found them on Belk obviously through her app or not her app but her link or whatnot and so far so good I started cooking with them and it seems like this is going to be a really good set that will really hold up for a long time I think I'm gonna end today's cleaning um, video here. I was gonna plan to do some for after dark, but I'm gonna have to hit the hay tonight with the kids because I'm tired. <laughs> 
I still have to steam mop my floors. I um, just redid my kids' bedroom, so um, with their bunk beds and stuff. So I still have to like clean up the aftermath of that and things like that. So I'm just gonna save that for another video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, and <laughs> if you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe down below to my channel and then and join. You know my little tiny world over here and yeah so i will see you all in my next video thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for watching and yeah i'll see you guys next my next one good night bye